All right, so I'm at um, my location where I have a tower. Uh, it's on this hillside here. Um, I use it for wire, wireless point-to-point -point connections. Um, there's a couple of five gigahertz and some 900 megahertz antennas up there, so we will see what kind of interference we got. We got our antenna tuned on the bench. Our cable, the Revitas um, program. Well, it's, we didn't really change any of the programming. Right now, I'm going to see if I can find a place to mount this up here. I'm kind of running out of pole spaces. I might have to get creative to get it far enough away from the other radios. But, um, yeah, so today's install day. I got our antenna up there. You can see 5 gigahertz, 900 megahertz, 5 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz on the back side there as well, going over to another. So this goes to three different buildings and then that goes over to a to another source and then that's our uh, GMRS up at the top there so we're coming down into our cabinet all right so we're on the the SWR 1.01 beautiful um, let me rehook up with the dummy load and we'll get a power output. Alright, so we're going to switch this over to power. And let's see what we're outputting. 5.9. It's pretty good. 5.9. It was doing 6.2 earlier, so we're still on the same channel. But anyways, so that's the setup. Um, I'm going to log in see if I'm getting anything on the on the other antennas and um, I gotta gotta plug that pipe on the other side still just do some clay keep the rodents out and yeah there we go so this engine let me hop up here actually had um, the original antenna still on it I don't know what frequency it was, the radio was gone. I had already ordered this Nyoga model UT72. Um, but since that one was on there, already wired into the cab and water sealed, I just opened it up, cleaned up the top there for the mount. This one I'm just gonna keep and we'll throw it on a, I don't know, one of the mules or throw it on my truck. Um, Inside, we got the radiotity. There it is. It's the uh, DB25G. And I already kind of tuned the antenna up there. I knew it wasn't right, and so I, um, I, put it next to the other one got it close and let's uh let's do a let's do a check on it and see where we're at oh i forgot to turn the power on all right so we just heard the DB25 there, fire up. Now let's do a SWR check. We are on our repeater channel one, which will be our primary one. And, ooh, 1.28. Hmm. 1.28. All right. Let's see if we can get that any better. All right, so we're at 120 now, 1.20. All I did was pull the antenna up a smidge. So we'll adjust it again. And we are at 120 before. 
117, 117. All right, so after making sure that was all clean, tightened up, snugged up, cable in here all snugged up, we got her down to 1.03. All right, we got the 50, uh, 50 watt dummy load. Turn this on. <clears throat> so we're on SWR. We're gonna go up to watts. Let's see what the wattage output is. This is on a repeater channel. Here we go. I'm not sure if you can see that, but we're at 13 and falling. Let's uh, let me switch over to GMR 16, which is the one that we a lot of times run off road. 13A, we had a peak of 14 there. And get down here in the lower ones. Do two. Five. Five watt. So it's adhering to the requirements. Radio service, check on repeater channel one. Radio service, check on repeater channel one. Okay. Anyways, so that is the Radiodity um, DB25G. Um, I don't remember what the actual power specs of it were. I believe 15 watts sounds about right. So we're right in that ballpark. Um, obviously the boofing and the rest of the radios for this installation were all the the baofeng uh, uv 5 g's um, they're all gmrs they were all programmed up in another video but there we go we got the radiotity in and i think the thing i like the least about this radio is that little chicken shit hook but See, oh, it doesn't even have a spot for a for a ball style, but for the but you know what? I mean, I think this thing was all of like a hundred and ten dollars, so I'll put links to all the stuff down below. If anybody's wondering what it looks like inside uh, fuse block for one of these old things, I might have to do a video just on the fire engine one day. There it is. That's the 12 volt side flasher relay. This is just the inside box. Makes it really easy for attaching to, unlike some of the newer stuff, unlike some of the newer vehicles out there. But, all right, thanks for joining along. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Since I have that Niagara antenna up there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook it up and do a SWR meter check on that and see how we compare to it. Let me hook everything up, I'll bring you back. All right, so this is the uh, mag antenna going up onto the same roof. Um, let's see how we compare. Let's oh, 1.7. Wow. And I didn't see any way to adjust that antenna. So I'm gonna call it good. I'm gonna call it good. Um, that 1.7, that seems, that seems quite a bit. Um, I might have to look around and see what that's a normal. But let's, uh, go to, yeah, 1.73, it seems to be pretty s stable there. So, I'm sure it'll still work for what I'm going to use it for. But, there you go. So, that's the Niaga antenna. It's the Radiotity DB25G. Um, I wound up just putting it to all of our repeater channels on all four of them because I'm sure whoever's in here is not going to want to listen to everybody around us. And we got the um, PL tones on there to kind of block some stuff. So, oh well. All right. Thanks a lot.